In thrilling news for Formula One fans, Lewis Hamilton is set to drive Ayrton Senna's iconic title-winning 1990 McLaren MP4-5B at this weekend's Brazilian Grand Prix. The demonstration, part of a tribute to the late Senna, is planned for the Interlagos circuit in Sao Paulo, Brazil, honoring the legacy of the beloved three-time world champion who tragically passed away in a crash at the 1994 San Marino Grand Prix at Imola, a moment forever etched in the history of the sport. According to the Brazilian outlet, Band, Hamilton will take the wheel of the McLaren MP4-5B as a centerpiece of the Senna Forever tribute event, which will celebrate the 30th anniversary of Senna's passing. This tribute is particularly special for Hamilton, who has idolized Senna since he was a child and has long considered the Brazilian racing icon his greatest inspiration. While Hamilton has driven one of Senna's cars before in a McLaren MP4-4 during a closed filming with Top Gear at Silverstone over a decade ago, this occasion will mark the first time he drives a Senna McLaren in front of a live crowd who are expected to be enthusiastically supportive, as Hamilton was granted honorary Brazilian citizenship in 2022. The demonstration will follow the conclusion of Saturday's on-track activities, including the F1 sprint race and main qualifying session, and will feature other racing legends like Brazilian champion Emerson Fittipaldi. Known locally as Senna Sempre, or Senna Always in English, this tribute is expected to draw an electrifying atmosphere as Brazilian fans watch Hamilton follow in the tracks of their cherished hero, deepening a legacy of shared admiration and mutual respect. Hamilton has frequently paid homage to Senna throughout his F1 career, from wearing the iconic yellow helmet inspired by Senna's own to achieving his 65th career pole position in 2017, matching Senna's record. And this moment was particularly poignant, as Hamilton received a replica of Senna's helmet and tearfully expressed his gratitude and reverence for the Brazilian legend. More recently, at the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix in Imola, Hamilton reflected again on Senna's influence, saying, Senna's always in my heart. I followed him since I was a kid, and every time I'm in the car, he's with me in spirit. The 2024 season holds special significance for Hamilton, not only due to the Senna anniversary, but also as his time with Mercedes draws to a close, with just four races left before he transitions to Ferrari for the next season. Driving Senna's McLaren at Interlagos, where Lewis has claimed victory three times in 2016, 2018 and 2021, will undoubtedly be an emotional moment for Hamilton, and it's a powerful alignment, with him driving a car from his early career team in McLaren on a circuit beloved by Senna, in front of a crowd who has come to see him as a symbol of Brazil's racing legacy. For fans, this demonstration is more than just a tribute, it's a passing of the torch. As Hamilton steps into the cockpit of the McLaren MP4-5B, he won't simply be honouring Senna's memory. He will be embodying the inspiration, resilience and passion that has made both drivers icons across generations. And what was it, do you think, about Senna's driving that caught your imagination? His personality and the way he drove suited how I, perhaps how I felt uh, what I would like to do. And how would you sum up his driving compared to, well, anybody else's of the period, or even now, I suppose? I love the fact that he was so sensitive and he could feel everything in the car, and he was so, his attention to detail was, uh, was just incredible. The way, he, the way he drove the car, though, was so... He was quite know. aggressive, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, no, very... I don't mean as a man, I mean, uh, in, even when he was racing on his own, there was never, yep. nobody near him. He'd still he was be fantastically very, aggressive yes, with the car. everything, he puts everything, into getting that lap and he had no fear. That's what I loved about it. I love this car. I love it. Come on. <sighs> That's amazing. Oh, it's, it's so much, it's nothing like the car I drive nowadays, but just to, to know the commitment and to, to get used to driving this car and on the, on the limit, I just, I just couldn't imagine it, man. one of the best days of my life. I just feel so blessed, you know. I, I, I dream my whole life of driving that car. My whole, my whole life. I just, I just ticked off one of the, the, my dreams. So it's been an incredible day. Um, and I reached a lifelong goal, which was to, to emulate Ayrton Senna. 
from a kid, I was uh, watching him from five years old and the goal was always to get to Form 1 and then do something like him and then as I got to Form 1 it was kind of trying to reach the awesome levels and records that he had achieved and today I got my 65th pole and um, the Senna family sent me one of his helmets. Um, this one exactly I think is a, is a replica but I believe there's a, a real one waiting for me somewhere so um, yeah, it was a very emotional moment for me, you know, because I, I grew up watching him, I grew up believing in him as his country did, and we're just in, having someone to be in, uh, inspiring, uh, inspiring you, and, and he, he did that for me, um, as he did for so many. Um, yeah, and this is the one bit of memorability I have from him, I don't have anything else, so to have now a piece of center at home, when I walk into my living room, I'm gonna have this uh, there. It's so much different uh, to to anything else that I would, would, could have, you know? This is such a personal thing, it's like a jersey. And when you see footballers or basketball players or NFL players, they, they swap jerseys. And um, it's, it's difficult really to swap jerseys with someone because you don't really have a jersey. So the helmet is something you can do, but unfortunately people can't wear the helmet like you can wear a jersey, so. Um, maybe I need to bring that back. Maybe I need to bring jerseys to form one. But anyways, this is beautiful and it was just by coincidence that my helmet was yellow when I started and it's yellow today. Um, I think maybe in the back of my dad's mind he, he had chosen that colour. Um, maybe like, uh, you know, like LeBron James chose 23. Um, to follow in the footsteps of Michael Jordan, so who knows? But anyways, I was honored and super, super happy. When I was on the, on the top of the car, I was kind of hugging it because you know, it was the closest I could get to it. So, yeah. Over here, it's been a bit trendy the last few races for drivers to change their helmet at almost every Grand Prix. You may well remember Lewis Hamilton in India. He had a special Bob Marley helmet, of course, one of Bob's famous songs, No Woman. No cry. Well, this helmet's a little bit different. You can see the Brazilian flag, and I'm sure that you'll recognize the design around the back here. No prizes for guessing where the inspiration for this came from. Sometimes I do a special helmet for a Grand Prix, and I was thinking of what to do for Brazil, and I thought, I thought what was closest to my heart, and I thought, you know, Ayrton is one of the most significant um, figures in my life growing up. I was going to do a helmet that was just um, just Senna's design, but I know that Bruno has the Senna, the Senna helmet here, and so I thought, I wondered whether it was possible to do a mix of, between my helmet and his. Then I decided to put my half of my helmet design and then his on the back. Um, they also wanted me to use his new foundation logo, but I wanted to use this one because this is the one he used to wear a t-shirt and used to have the Senna S on it, and it just feels awesome in the car. I also did, if you look, he, he has a green interior. And all helmets around the world, every other helmet has black. And I specifically ordered this stuff. I literally went, I which literally had to go and buy it myself and get get the green interior done myself. Which is so cool. And there's only one of them in the world. And so I, I wear it proudly this weekend, regardless of what result we have. And uh, I really hope Ayrton uh, up there is proud of me. You know?